Hi, my name is Dr. Nicholas Campioni and I'm a researcher in paleontology at Uppsala University. I'm really happy today to talk to you about some exciting research that we have coming out in the journal PLOS Biology. So why don't you follow me into the Evolution Museum and we can talk a little bit about it. One of the questions that is central to our biologists is how has the amazing diversity of both species and morphologies arisen over time? One of the potential hypotheses for uh, how such diversity has arisen is a concept called adaptive radiation. And it's the evolutionary process by which uh, rates of evolution, both in terms of increases in the number of species and ecological diversity, are really fast early on in the evolution of a group. And these slow down as ecological roles or niches are filled up. So in order to undertake the study, we compiled the largest data set of body masses thus far created for dinosaurs. In order to do this, we uh, use the limb bones of dinosaurs. So that's the upper arm bone, the humerus, uh, and the upper leg bone, the femur. And so what I have here is the femur of a duckbill dinosaur. Uh, and it's quite simple. You just take a flexible measuring tape, and you can measure the circumference of, of the limb bone. And it's been shown that these measurements are strongly tied to the body mass in living animals. And so we make the assumption that they should be the, uh, like that too in dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, early on in their evolutionary history, were evolving really fast. Body sizes were changing at very fast rates, in which you went from an animal that was probably around 10 kilograms, all the way up to 1,000 to 10,000 kilograms in a matter of a few million years. As time went on, however, uh, most dinosaurs seemed to have sort of fit into uh, roles, or at least body size niches, uh, and then the rates of body size change slow down. One of the intriguing results of our study is that when we look at these rates of body size evolution in Manny Raptoran dinosaurs, we do not see a slowing down of these rates as we see in every other group of dinosaurs. And it's this evolvability in Manny Raptoran dinosaurs that may have actually helped them survive the extinction and pave the way to a second great radiation of taxa, the birds. And these are animals that nowadays, of course, comprise you know, over 10,000 species and are by far the most uh, diverse vertebrate uh, on land.